Welcome back for lesson three. It says, write the following in exponential form. For example, 100 equals 10 to the second power. So if we have 1,000, that is 10 times 10 times 10, which is equal to 10 to the third power. 10 times 10, that's 100, which is 10 to the second power. 100,000 would be 10 to the fifth power. And when we're doing this, we can also just count the zeros. The number of zeros will tell us what our exponent should be. 100 times 10, we have one, two, three zeros. So that is 10 to the third power. One million will be 10 to the sixth power. And 10,000 times 10 will be 10 to the one, two, three, four, fifth power. Write the following in standard form. For example, four times 10 to the second power equals 400. Four times 10 to the third power. So I have a place value chart over here that we can use to solve these. So four times 10 to the third power. So I'll put my four in here. Four times 10 to the third power. So multiplying, which means it's gonna be larger so our digits are shifting to the left times 10 to the third power, three places to the left, so over one, two, three places. It's gonna end up in the thousands place. And since that's our only digit and our decimal point's over here, we need to fill in with placeholders. So we end up with 4,000. 64 times 10 to the fourth power. So I'll fill in 64 times 10 to the fourth power. So we need to move it one, two, three, four places. So our six will be here, four will be here, fill in with zeros. So we have 640,000. And then 5,300 divided by, let's get rid of that, 5,300 divided by 10 to the second power. 5,300 divided by 10 to the second power. So this time we're dividing. The digits are gonna be shifting to the right because we're making the numbers smaller since we're multiplying by a, pos a whole power of 10 divided by 10 to the second power. So we're gonna move it over two places. So the five ends up there, zeros. So really we have 53 and zero hundredths or just 53. And then 5,300,000 divided by 10 to the third power. So now everything's moving three places. So the five ends up there. So we really just have 5,300. And six and 72 hundredths times 10 to the third power. So six and 72 thousandths, I think I said hundredths, six and 72 thousandths times 10 to the third power. Moving the digits to the left, one, two, three spots. So six, zero, seven, two. We end up with 6,072. And then we have 60 and 72 hundredths. times 10 to the fourth power. So we're moving over one, two, three, four places, 60 and 72 hundredths. We have blank spots. So we fill them in with zeros, 607,200, 948 divided by 10 to the third power. So shifting the digits to the right because we're dividing by 10 to the third power, so three places, we're gonna end up with 948 thousandths. And nine and four tenths divided by 10 to the second power. So again, moving to the left, two places. Now here we have to put in our placeholder and we end up with 94 thousandths. There's number two. Moving on to number three, complete the patterns. 
Okay, so we start out with two hundredths, and then we have two tenths, and then you can see how our twos are already moving one place value to the left each time. So they're getting greater by 10. We're multiplying by 10 each time. So our next one would be 2. And then 20 does follow the pattern. And then we would have 200 and then 2,000. So we're multiplying by 10 every time. Our next pattern, we start out with 3,400,000. And then we go down to 34,000. And then I'll skip one so that we can fill that in later. We have 3 and 4 tenths. So we can see what's missing here. So this one, we shifted two place values to the right, which means that we were dividing by 100. So it looks like we can do that again if we shift two place values to the right. We will have 340, two places to the right, three and four tenths, two more places to the right, we would get 34 thousandths. So here we'd have 340 and 34 thousandths. Okay, next one. We have, they don't tell us the first one, so I'm gonna leave that first line blank. Then we have 8,570. And then another blank line. And then we have 85 and 7 tenths. And then 8 and 57 hundredths. So the only two that I have to compare next to each other are these two right here. And I'm noticing that it's shifting one place value to the left. So to get my last one here, I'll just shift one place value to the left, and I get 857 thousandths. So this is going to be 857 thousandths. So it looks like we're dividing by 10 each time. So then to move backwards, we'd be multiplying by 10 each time. So if I multiply by 10 over here, I'll get 857. So this is 857. And then one more time, multiply by 10. 8570, and I'll have to fill in a placeholder for the ones place. So 85,700 is what this started out as. All right, 444, 4,440, it's a lot of fours, 44,400. So then if we, it looks like we're multiplying by 10 every time. So if we move multiply by 10 one more time here, whoops, this should be a 4. We get 444,000. Multiply by 4 again, or 10 again. We get 4,440,000. I don't have a space. And then this last line, since we ran out of room, and ran out of room on this place value chart too, we would have to add a 10 million place. So we'd have 44,400,000. It's a 44,400,000. Should be on that last line there. Lots of zeros. All right, skip the first line, nine and five tenths. I didn't skip the first line. Nine and five tenths, and then 950. 95,000. Okay, so it looks like we're shifting the digits two places to the left each time, which means we're multiplying by 100. So to get back to where we originally started, I'm going to divide by 100 or shift the, desk, the digits two places to the right, and I'll end up with 95 thousandths. And then for the next two, I just need to multiply by 100. So if I multiply by 100, 
we get 9,500,000. And then again, I can't use my place value chart, but I will, if I multiply 9,500,000 by 100, I'll end up with 950 million. After a lesson on exponents, Tia went home and said to her mom, I learned that 10 to the fourth power is the same as 40,000. She's made a mistake in her thinking. Use words, numbers, or a place value chart to help Tia correct her mistake. Well, 10 to the fourth power is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And 10 times 10 is 100. And then this 10 times 10 would be another 100. And 100 times 100 is 10,000. So 10 to the fourth power equals 10,000, not 40,000. So I'm thinking that Tia probably got mixed up in thinking that, yes, we add four zeros and it's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, but a lot of times, and my students mess up on this too, they think the four means something and you need to multiply by four, but that's actually not what the four represents. So you have to be careful and really check to make sure that that's an exponent and that you're not actually multiplying by four. Okay. Solve 247 divided by 10 to the second power and 247 divided by 10 to the second power. What's different about the two answers? Use words, numbers, or pictures to explain how the digits shift. So you could draw a place value chart here. I'm going to use the place value chart I pulled up over here that will help us in our explanation. Uh, so 247 divided by 10 to the second power. So we're dividing, which means the digits are shifting to the right two places. So we'll end up with 2 and 74 hundredths. So 247 divided by 10 to the second power equals 2 and 74 hundredths. And then 247 times 10 to the second power. This time we're getting larger. The digits are shifting to the right two places. We end up with 24,700. So the two answers are different because well, one we're dividing, one we're multiplying. So the, um, the number is getting smaller in the first answer and larger in the second answer because we're dividing and or multiplying by a whole number. Based on the answers for the pair of expressions below, solve 247 divided by 10 to the third power. Well, if 247 divided by 10 to the second power was 2 and 74 hundredths, then 247 divided by 10 to the third power, we just have to shift the digits one more place over. So that one would be 247 thousandths. And if we shifted the digits one more place to the left in the second answer, we would have 247 thousandths.